inside of our 1963 VW dune buggy. We have a horn, which is not through the steering column, is underneath the actual steering column here. Blue switches for fog lights. You won't be able to see if those are working or not. Turn signal, driver's side, the indicator red. You can also see it on the outside in the back of the tail light as well. Passenger side. You can also see it in the back of the tail light over there as well. Wipers. Now these wipers don't really serve much of a purpose in these dune buggies, but they're there and they work. So, um, fuels functioning, oil pressure, battery voltage. Temps not up yet. We just started the car. E-brake. Um, Radio, so you got your radio mounted uh, up and underneath the uh, little plastic piece here, and it does function. It actually sounds real nice too. She's angry. Tossing debris around at Gale Force Wind. It's on a commercial right now, so that's not the greatest. Do have cup holders here, uh, Velcro to the uh, roll bar, uh, mirrors with some wind deflectors there too. Cool stuff. Take it down to the beach. We're about to take you over onto Beachside to show you how our 1963 VW Dune buggy runs. Dunlot and Bridge. As you can see, the speedometer is functioning and it is accurate. It's not bouncing around. The uh, RPM is functioning. Nice tight steering on this bug. Response time in the steering wheel is real nice. Nice and tight. Let go of the wheel, the car tracks straight. Doesn't want to pull one side to the other. Beautiful day in Daytona. I'm gonna take you down onto the beach and uh, run the dune buggy down air. Also, when we're, we're coming to a light here, you'll see that it's a red light up front there. And when you stop and you're uh, just at idle, the, uh, the buggy doesn't want to spit, sputter, stall out, anything like that. It idles real nicely, uh, real low idle to the thing, and uh, doesn't spit, sputter, cough, want to stall out, don't have to restart it, anything like that. In just a few minutes, we'll be on the beach. Here we are in our 63 VW dune buggy in Daytona Beach. It is a beautiful 85 degrees today and sunshine. And you are looking at the Atlantic Ocean and beautiful sunny Daytona Beach, Florida in the first week of June. We've had quite a few of these dune buggies through our showroom this year. Um, so far, we're six months through the year and I believe we've sold eight or nine. Um, we're doing fairly well with them. As you can see, uh, dune buggy's creeping along here. Everything's good. Um, this one is another one that'll, that'll probably go relatively quickly. Um, so if you're interested in this particular dune buggy, give us a call. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone number here in Daytona Beach. Hankstress.com is our website. Today we're gonna put at least 75 photos of this vehicle up, if not more, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full price, this vehicle does include shipping to you in the lower 48 United States and a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, powertrain warranty. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? It most certainly is. However, if we negotiate the price of the car, then we also negotiate the price of the shipping and the price of the warranty. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing base of customers, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the world. Hanksters.com, Daytona Beach, Florida. Check us out. Okay, we're here in front of our 1963 VW dune buggy on the beach, um, where the dune buggy should probably be. And it's a beautiful day here, and we're just gonna walk you around this vehicle real quick. So um, the airbrushing of the shark and the paint on the hood is in excellent condition. Tops of the fenders are in great shape. Now you can tell this particular uh, buggy has been used. 
You will see some uh, nicks on the roll bar here, probably from getting in and out of the vehicle. Um, nick there in the paint. Uh, there's a piece of paint missing right there. It looks like a chip that might have been brush touched at some point. Um, there are some chips on the roll bar here on the top, probably from putting the top on and off. Um, this is your uh, carbon fiber compartment that holds your uh, stereo system. Um, another chip there, probably from setting the uh, top. You can see where the top bolts on there. Probably from setting the top on and off of the vehicle. Uh, tops of the rear fenders are in great shape. It's got not only the airbrush in there of the waves, but also has like a, uh, a metal flake in the paint as well. Real nice airbrushing done on this. You got the uh, ship there and of course the waves crashing in the back. Uh, really cool. Brake lights are really cool. Um, as you can see, you got your motor uh, there, your whole exhaust system. Um, rear roll bar houses the entire uh, motor. Top of the passenger side rear fender uh, in good shape as well. We got some sand on there, but um, paint is good. Uh, paint is nicer, well, it's about the same on the passenger side as it is on the driver's side. Again, this vehicle has been used, so climbing in and out, you know, there's, there's chips, scratches on the uh, roll bar, and of course on the uh, paint getting in and out of the, out of the car, obviously, because you climb over the door to enter the vehicle. Uh, top of the fender on the passenger side, great shape, just uh, mirroring the driver's side. And again, the airbrushing um, on the front hood, Absolutely fantastic. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, we showed you the drive. We showed you the paint. Um, oh, by the way, uh, Cooper Cobra radials all the way around um, on the vehicle, and they're in good shape, too. Um, they're not dry rotted or cracking or anything, and there's some good tread left on them. So um, that's about it. The only thing we haven't done so far is the undercarriage presentation. We're going to head back to the showroom right now. Uh, we'll. I'd much rather stay here, but we're going to head back to the showroom right now, put the vehicle on the lift, put it in the air, and check out what the undercarriage of the 63 VW Dune Buggy looks like. Underneath our 63 VW Dune Buggy, um, the paint up here is not all uh, chipped up, dinged up. You know, lower here where you, uh, you know, take a lot of debris from the road and whatnot. Um, disc brakes in the front. There's your horn. Uh, all your suspension components look good here in the front. Basically all the uh, car is is a bathtub on four wheels, but you know, this is just fiberglass. We wanted to show you guys the undercarriage so you can't say that we didn't. There's not much to look at, but we do an undercarriage video presentation in pretty much every car that we do. Uh, drum brakes in the rear. Then you can see here the bottom of the transmission, bottom of the motor. It all looks to be in good shape. Exhaust system. I don't see any holes in the uh, mufflers or anything like that. Got a little bit of uh, surface rust there on the, uh, you know, you're you're down on the beach in the uh, salt air. It's metal. It's gonna it's gonna happen. So uh, you can see your battery up there, underneath the uh, rear seat. Like I uh, said earlier in the presentation, these dune buggies have been popular. We have run quite a few through our showroom so far this year. <clears throat> um, I invite you to Daytona Beach. Don't just take my word for it. Uh, we try to do these video t presentations. We try to uh, take a lot of photos of each car. We try to take a lot of video of each car. We try to do an in-depth presentation of each vehicle as well as a good description um, on our website. But ultimately, there's nobody to judge um, how you are going to spend your hard-earned dollar than you. So um, it's June in Daytona. It is beautiful here. You can see we were on the beach earlier with our uh, presentation with our drive. Uh, beautiful tourist destination. You got the Speedway. You got the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, lots of shopping here. Lots of cool rentals, jet skis, boats, um, cars, slingshots, Jeeps, whatever you want to do. Uh, make it a nice little weekend trip, maybe fly in on a Friday and fly out on a Sunday or, or whatever. Um, or we have a lot of people fly in, fly right back out. Uh, but I encourage all of you to come in person. You can drive it, you can look at the paint, you can look at the imperfections I pointed out in the video. Um, you can look at the undercarriage like we're doing right now. Um, we'd be more than happy to show you this vehicle or any other vehicle in our inventory you might be interested in. With that being said, we do probably 90% of our business sight unseen. 
Um, so we do a pretty good job, you know, with the amount of vehicles we sell per month. Um, I'd say 94% of them, I never meet the buyer face to face. It's all done through uh, video presentation, photos, and uh, over the phone, texting, emailing, things like that. If you need financing and you are not a cash buyer, we offer financing on this vehicle or any other vehicle in our showroom that qualifies for collector car financing. Um, we, the collector car lenders we use will do anywhere from a five to a 10 year loan, whatever you get approved for. It's based on the price of the vehicle, uh, your debt to income ratio, your credit score, of course. Uh, you're gonna be minimum 10% down out of pocket. So if the vehicle's 30 grand, you're gonna come out $3,000 out of pocket for your down payment. Then the lender's gonna finance the remainder for you on a uh, loan. No prepayment penalty for early payoff. So this is going to conclude today's video presentation of our 1963 Volkswagen Dune Buggy. Again, um, we are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. We are Hangsters Hot Rods, and we would love to earn your business. Check us out.